to create, edit, and view inventory categories, you'll go to the inventory module and then go to the categories tab to view and create new ones. First, let's take a moment to understand why it's so valuable to set up these categories that will help you gain insight into your business and save a lot of time in the long term. For example, you can do bulk updates later. And when you do that, so for example, setting up to increase prices, you can do that across multiple categories and every item in there all at once. When you want to gain business intelligence, you can go to the reports module and go to the inventory tab, and then you'll be able to filter reports by category. For example, the sales by category report. When you want to set up your taxes, it might be that you only apply them to certain categories. So you can set up your categories in such a way that you can apply your taxes. Similarly, when you set up your discounts, for example, an employee discount, you can apply those particular percentages to just particular categories that you've set up. Let's take a closer look at the actual category structure in DaySmart. In the inventory module from the categories tab, let's take a look and view all the categories. You can think of this as an analogy that we use in biology we have a category, a subcategory, and the items in those subcategories. You can think of it sort of like a family, a genus, and a species. All of these items are sitting in this subcategory, and these subcategories are sitting in a particular category. The categories themselves, these categories with icons, are hard-coded. In other words, these are similar to AHA standards and they cannot be changed. You cannot remove or change these. However, you can create new subcategories by going there and you would choose, is it an inventory type or service type? Inventory you can think of as physical items that you actually keep on your shelf that would have a count and they would be products that you would sell. A service you can think of as non-physical types of charges. So for example, exams and surgeries, those would be things that you don't physically put on the shelf. Then you would choose the main overarching category that you would want to put that subcategory in. And then the subcategory is the one that you can actually create and edit. So for example, vaccines would be in this general category here. Or I can be more specific and say canine vaccines, and I can have another one for feline vaccines. And then you just save that there. Now, looking at the actual specific categories, you can filter this out. And you'll see gear icons on the right here. And you can edit these. So later on, you can change the names of these or the particular category they're sitting in or the type. And if you wish to delete a category or subcategory, you go to the gear icon to do that, but you can only delete that if there are zero items in that subcategory. You will not be able to delete something with items in it. So you'll have to move the items before you wish to delete it.